We begin first with breaking news out of South Fulton. It is still an active scene at what is left of a two story home on Oswego Trail. A fire broke out there just before 5 a.m. Right now, the scene is one of recovery with firefighters working to bring out the remains of those who died. So we got the latest update within the last couple of hours. Let's get straight to 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn in South Fulton with more Cody. Ron, we do know at least one body has been pulled from this two story home that happened just in the last 10 minutes. It was brought to the side. We do know this recovery effort is focused on the back of the home on the second floor. Uh, heavy machinery, including a backhoe, has been brought in to assist the South Bolton uh, Fire Department and the Fire Marshal's Office. I'll let you look at the scene right now. The family still here as they are watching this recovery effort. Uh, they did tell us seven people survived. Uh, four people still missing, including a child. I heard a man walk by us earlier saying he lost his two sisters and his great niece in this fire. But again, right now we can only confirm what I saw a moment ago. Firefighters pulling one body out of this fire. We talked to the grandfather earlier today. He was in this home. The fire woke him up and this is what he had to say as he was trying to uh, get up to that second floor. No smoke. It was fire. No, no smoking was until uh, recently it was, it was fire. He said it happened so fast, literally in a matter of minutes, so fast he could not get to that second floor to help those who were up there. Uh, we do know the medical examiner's office is still here on scene right now, assisting this investigation. The uh, public information officer for South Fulton Fire is just walking up here, so we are expecting an update in just a few minutes from South Fulton Fire. We'll update you as soon as we get word uh, from the lieutenant here on the scene. 